Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya here at Telecom Exchange NYC with my good friend Christopher Lang. He is the President and CEO of Antenna Systems. Chris, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. And thanks for joining us on Telecom Exchange. You were great in our CEO Roundtable. Appreciate it. I appreciate those comments. It was a very enjoyable experience for me. Oh, good, good, yeah. Um, and uh, we should say that um, Antenna Systems, just back it up one heartbeat. For our viewers who may not know, tell us a little bit about them. Uh, we are what's called a distributed antenna systems integrator uh, with about 20 years experience. Um, so it's our duty out there to help with densification of the networks. And it's primarily coverage that we achieve for commercial cellular and public safety networks on interior space, high rises, shopping malls, stadiums and such. And so um, what differentiates Antenna from, say, similar companies in the industry? I, I think it's quite simply our experience. So before the term distributed antenna system or the acronym DAS ever came out, we were implementing these type of systems. So for over 20 years, we've been doing that for the major commercial cellular providers of AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint. Um, and now that it is primarily a function of the enterprise, it is our experience in those past 20 years that I think are our best asset. I would also say you're a smart city enabler. Can I say that? You can say that. That's exactly <laughs> what we're trying to do. And uh, of course you spoke on the subject matter earlier this morning at uh, Telecom Exchange. He was part of the CEO roundtable on um, creating smart cities. Uh, what, what does it take? 5G, IoT, and what are we talking about when we talk about network security? So um, you did a phenomenal job, particularly uh, talking 5G for us. What do you see as the biggest obstacles in a city like New York City? And how can Antenna help this initiative? How, how do we become a smart city for tomorrow? No small question, P.S. Yeah, not, no small question. I need to ponder that one. Um, but the, the challenge is what we call densification of the networks, right? So we need many, many more what we call propagation points to be able to provide the bandwidth that they dream of having for the application of smart cities. Um, how do we fit in? Our primary focus is interior space. So. Every time we do cover square footage, say a high rise in Manhattan, we subtract that capacity need from the outside network, which in turn then provides them with more bandwidth for what they're trying to apply with the smart city initiatives. All right, just crazy question, a stadium, do you consider that indoor or outdoor? I consider that indoor. Okay. So we're watching a football game uh, from one of your stadiums, mm -hmm. and uh, and the coverage is basically as if we're we're watching, uh, we're playing a game, uh, you know, on a giant console. Like it's it's ridiculous. They can rewind, fast forward, all you know, replay it, instant analysis. Um, it's it's pretty significant the amount of data and data points that we're pulling in. Um, just to, to cover the game at, on a, sort of the 2019 level, if you will. Every single year, the record for data consumption in a single venue or event is won again by the Super Bowl. Um, and that consumes more than the stadium when those events happen. You can go to a three mile radius from that stadium, stadium and this consumption is occurring. Um, you're, you're hitting the absolute most challenging item in RF to be able to accomplish that amount of data consumption on a wireless perspective. And the hard part is in a circle containing 75 
85,000 people at one time. All doing selfies and sharing across their social network. Uh, absolutely, right? What's the first thing you're going to do after you spent $1,800 a seat <laughs> you're is you're going to take a Bowl. selfie to prove to everyone absolutely. that you were there. Like, it, it doesn't happen unless you say it on Facebook. Um, but it's a great learning bed for us, right? So technology advancements and knowledge in the industry has evolved out of those events. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so looking into your crystal ball, I like to ask this question when I get a lot of my CEOs in the hot seat here. Are there any exciting developments on the horizon for Antenna? CBRS. CBRS, tell us more. Private LTE, um, uh, 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 an open network of band instead of commercially owned band, which will then provide municipalities and enterprise to be able to create their own LTE network. And if we can accomplish handoffs into core networks for Verizon, AT&T, the, the mobile network operators of the world, then it will relieve us on a lot of technical requirements to be able to build these networks. We need that yesterday. We need it yesterday. So for our viewers who want to learn more, where can they go? www.antennasystems.com. Antennasystems.com. <laughs> there you have it. Thank you, Chris, for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.